Stand. Yeah, I was the in stadium host at Dodger Stadium a couple of years ago. A lot, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's watching those guys hit, hit them from field level, unbelievable. McGuire Sosa, best one ever. This is Sports Center Los Angeles. Asia Wilson and Caitlin Clark show out in a historic way, but only one of them got the win while the two top teams in the W square off in Connecticut. After sending home one of its biggest stars, the USA men's basketball team begins its journey to Paris with a tune-up against friendly neighbor Canada. And speaking of Team USA, the men's soccer team is in the market for a new manager. The latest on Greg Berhalter's exit next. We'll see you later. Josh Harris Allen here, Jacksonville Jaguars. You are tuning in to Sports Center, Los Angeles. Can't wait to see him on the show. Really enjoyed talking to him. Oh, uh, looks like a fun, fun guy. Hi, and welcome to Sports Center from LA. We're fun too. That's Stan Barrett. <laughs> I am Linda Cohn. What a day in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and Asia Wilson. All were in action. And that's not all. Yeah, we'll start at the top. The league's two best teams head to head in Connecticut. Both the Sun and the Liberty came in 17 and 4 this season. New York won their first matchup last month, and that was the Sun's first loss of the season after that 9 and 0 start, and it sent New York to the Commissioner's Cup final. They also met in the league semifinals last year with New York winning four games, and this game had playoff intensity as well. Pick it up in the fourth quarter. That's when the real fun began. Just over eight to go. Sun down six. Dewana Bonner. Deep two cuts it to a four-point game. Under four to play, Sun down two, Bonner. Three for five from three, game high 22 for her, Sun up one. Trying to end a five-game losing skid against New York in the regular season. But Sabrina Ionescu and Brianna Stewart took over. Two minutes up, Liberty down one, Stewart to Ionescu. Ionescu eight of 15 from the floor. New York shot 49%, even though they went just three for 13 from three. Minute and a half to go. Ionescu drives and misses, Sun in transition. DJ De character denied by Stewart with a two-handed block. She had three blocks in the game. Getting back in transition for the squat. Liberty maintained their one-point lead to help Connecticut to 36% shooting. Stewart again with a block. Next Liberty possession, 10 seconds left. Stewart sets the screen for Ionescu. First, there's a block from Stewart on the other end, and then the clutch basket from Ionescu to give New York a three-point lead with four seconds left, 21 points for Ionescu. Stewart, 18 points, 14 boards to go with the blocks. Final chance for Connecticut, four seconds left. Alyssa Thomas to Ty Harris. But Ionescu gets the block at the buzzer. Recognize that Thomas is about to make the pass to Harris, comes off her assignment, and gets there for the block. And the Liberty win it. 71-68, beating Connecticut again in the regular season. So, Ionescu became the first player in Liberty history with 20 career games with 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. She becomes the second player with 20 such games in her first five seasons in the league and is one shot of matching Tamika Catchings for the most. Seattle Storm hosting the Las Vegas Aces. Before the game, Asia Wilson announced the NBA 2K25 WNBA edition cover athlete. Check out that cover art and what she looks like in the game uh, this season. She's averaging 27 points per game first in the league. Um, Neka Agumake driving to the basket. She goes to the lab. Wilson is there for the block. Coming down off the block. Uh-oh. Wilson holds her nose in pain. Take another look. It appears Agumake elbows Wilson's nose as she goes for the layup. That hurts. Wilson heads to the locker room. Nosebleed. But she would return later. Third quarter. But now we're in the fourth quarter. Just over two minutes left. Aces up. 76-69. Kelsey Plum finds Wilson. That's a clutch shot. And then 50 seconds left in the fourth. Wilson. The turnaround. Step back, Jay. Over Agumake. What a shot. 24 points for Wilson. 16 seconds left in the fourth. Horston to Ogumake for three. She misses it. Storm gets the rebound. Drew Lloyd gets a chance. She'll chuck it up for three. Can't get it to go. Wilson secures the rebound. 20 rebounds for Asia Wilson. A career high. Tying the single game franchise record. She also had four blocks. And it's a first 2020 game of her career. And it happened in a victory. On top of the 24 points and 20 rebounds, Wilson, as I mentioned, added four blocks and throw in the three steals. She joined Sylvia Fowles as the only players in WNBA history with games of 20 points, 20 rebounds, three blocks, and three steals. It marked her fourth game with 60 fantasy points this season. 
No other player has more than one. All right, speaking of historic, Caitlin Clark did something she's never done before. The Indiana Fever hosted the Washington Mystics. Caitlin, always ready. Under six minutes left in the third, Fever down, 56-46. Clark, behind the back to Melissa Smith, who lays it in. Clark, the first rookie in WNBA history to have 10 assists in four straight games. Mystics up nine. Shatori Walker Kimbrough finds Stephanie Dolson and one. Tough play by the Mystics. Take another look. Mystics now up 76 55 on the fever at the end of three. Six minutes left in the fourth. Clark trying to make things happen and does knock down the three. Caitlin Clark ties with Tamika Catchings for the most games with 20 points, five boards, five assists as a rookie in WNBA history. And then Clark makes the three off the pass and it's a nine point game. Following Mystics possession now, Caitlin Clark will steal the ball. But she'll miss the layup, but she got fouled. And after making one of the free throws, Fever down eight. A few possessions later, Clark again stealing it. This time she lays it in. What excitement. Six-point game. 54 seconds left in the game. It's a three-point game. Ariel Atkins hits it. A team-high 26 points. Mystics win by five. Clark, amazing. 29 points, 13 assists, five boards, five steals. Did I mention she's the second player in WNBA history with 25 points, 10 assists, five steals in a game? The stat stuffing performance resulted in 68 fantasy points, the most by any player this season and fifth most by any player since ESPN launched the WNBA fantasy game in 2022. Clark joined Hall of Famer Cynthia, Cynthia Cooper as the only players all time to lead a game outright in points, assists, steals, and blocks. In Chicago, Reese, Eastern Conference Player of the Week, looking to extend her WNBA record double-double streak to 14. Second quarter, Sky down six. Camilla Cardoso to Reese. Sky down four. A little bit later, Reese with a jumper, knocking that down. 7.8 rebounds in the first half as the Sky tied up. Three minutes to go, Kennedy Carter. She says she really loves playing on this team. Gets the floater to drop. She had 15 in the first half. Sky up four at the half. Late third quarter. Carter to Cardosa. Sky tied at 50. A couple possessions later. Cardosa again. 10 points, 11 boards for her. Sky tied at 52. Fourth quarter now, tied at 65. Dana Evans with a steal. Up ahead, Marina Mabry. Put her on the line as well. She made the free throw, put the sky up three. A little bit later, Dream down three. Alicia Gray. She had 20 points to lead Atlanta. Dream down just one. 54 seconds to go. Still a one point game. Carter, step back, money. She had 19, sky up three. Next possession, Carter feeding Reese is wide open. Reese took just nine shots, hit five of them. 10 seconds remaining, sky up seven. Reese calls for the ball down low. She gets it. But she gets fouled. Okay, the double-double streak is in jeopardy. She needs one point to get another one. And she will get the roll on the free throw. Extending her WNBA record, 11.13 rebounds. Sky take it, 78-69. I got lucky on that last stretch, actually. <laughs> Shout out to Kennedy and Marina because... Um, um, yeah, I, I don't think I didn't think I was going to get it. I was going to get it today. And obviously, I mean, obviously the basketball gods came through and luckily I was able to knock down my free throws and come through. So I'm, I'm happy and we won. So I'm happy. So Kayla Clark and Angel Reese headed to Thursday as the league leaders in total assists and rebounds, respectively. Now, if they end the season atop those categories, it would be the first season all time in which the assistant rebounds leaders were not just rookies, but under the age of 24.